Welcome to episode 33 of the Daily BE. I am Ryan Wagner, and for today's topic, you know, it's funny when I um, think of these different topics for each day, I kind of look around uh, the BE office here in Denver, and today I'm looking at one of my mannequins here with a really, really cool shark skin suit. And I'm wearing the shark skin pants to go with it, and I'll give you a close up here in a second. But shark skin, aside from having a really, really cool name, right? is a great suit fabric and style. It's been around for a long, long time. And simply put, or maybe not so simply, but what it is, is a really closely woven worsted fabric. So it's wool. And it uses two different tones of yarn that come together in a twill weave. And so what that means, you get a lot of really great benefits out of this fabric. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that there's a real great variation in um, kind of the, the hue. I mean, it's a gray looking suit, but you get a look, really cool kind of textural look to it. And yet, you get a really smooth finish. It's not real, you know, textural in the traditional sense. It just kind of looks like it has more depth to it. And in some cases, you get kind of a, a luster. So it's a really interesting fabric. Um, and overall, it's relatively lightweight. Because of that real tight weave, it's, it's somewhat wrinkle free, which is great. And consequently, a lot of this kind of helps to keep the, you know, the suit has a real high tendency to keep its shape. It's not going to deform real easily in the bad ways, and it's not going to wrinkle so much. And overall, you know, these have been in style for a long, long time. There was kind of a, a lot of popularity mid-century America, where uh, the Rat Pack members were really known for wearing a lot of this gray, sharkskin looking suit. And they've been around ever since. They went through a bit of a phase where uh, a lot of synthetic fabrics got involved, which I think is a little unfortunate. And you know, therefore, there was kind of a, in, in some times, there was a little bit of a cheesy sensibility, maybe, about the, the shark skin suit. And fortunately, in recent years, it's really come back. And partly, what's made that really great is that there's been this return to the wool fabric, which is the way it should be, really. So you have a natural fabric, you have a great looking weave that gives you a, a variation in depth and um, has a real cool look to it. And to top it all off, you have a suit fabric that will hold up on its own, won't wrinkle too easily, and should last you a long, long time. So lots of great benefits. Let's switch views here and I'll show you uh, on the mannequin kind of a close up of the fabric. And um, you know, overall, I think if you're looking for you know, your first suit, I still believe that the best thing is some sort of navy or a, kind of a, a darker suit because it's more versatile, but if you're looking for a second one, I think the shark skin in this sort of gray is just a really, really cool choice. And you don't see a lot of them, which uh, you could use to your game. So let's switch views and I will show you what a shark skin fabric looks like. All right, so here is my shark skin suit jacket. And to kind of give you a close up view here, you see how there's kind of that really interesting textural look where there's obviously two different tones of yarn going into it. And it just has a, um, you know, you can see where the name came from. It looks very much like a shark skin if you've seen a shark up close. And, you know, from a distance, I mean, this is a gray looking suit, you know, gray in the color. And yet, um, even from not too, too far away, you can tell that it's different. That there's something going on. It's more interesting than just a flat gray. And that's really the power of um, a shark skin uh, style. It's just that you can tell it's a little bit unique. And you can see we have a, a bow tie here, a nice pocket square on our uh, mannequin today. But this particular suit, I think, is a good example of what I would call a semi formal suit. You know, we don't have uh, peak lapels, we have a notch lapel, and we have uh, flat pockets here, as opposed to like a real clean uh, Beeson pocket. And uh, a simple, um, you know, nothing too flashy on the button. Uh, the flashy part, though, as you may have noticed, is the lining. This is a very loud, crazy lining. That was by design. But overall, you know, this is a great example that with a shark skin suit, and again, if this is your second suit, I think this is a really, really versatile option that can carry you through a lot of different situations. And at the same time, you know, if you're st standing next to a handful of guys wearing a more traditional gray suit, uh, you, you will definitely stand apart and your suit and style will clearly be in a level all its own. So that is a quick overview on shark skin. 
And uh, if you're looking for a new suit, I hope you give it a try. It's a lot of fun and just has a really cool look to it that uh, is hard to recreate, to be honest. So there you have it. We'll be back with another episode. Don't forget to subscribe. We have new videos every single weekday and two to five minutes long to give you some um, new information really quick and help you become the best dressed version of yourself. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.